Good evening everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. Yes, Sapadman. And welcome to Hilot Academy of Binabailan. Today is April 11, 2021. And it's 9 to 7 p.m. while waiting for others to come in. We are live now and we are broadcasting here at Luntiang Agama Natural Divine Art Shine of Healing in San Jose del Monte Bulacan. And you are listening to the Babaylan song by the Lahid people. And tonight we are going to talk about the initiation of a Babaylan. And now we will be joined by Lakai Magbaya Gama, our Deputy Chief Priest and Director of Spiritual Healing Arts. In Hillet Academy of Binabaylan, We are recording this so that we could use this in other broadcast. And welcome, welcome, Jamie Pineda. Talaga may concert party tayo, Hello. no? <laughs> How are you? Hi. So just please. Don't tell no, see. <laughs> so we'll just finish this song. Then we are going to start. Siyempre yung ginagamit ni, ano, yung sa video niya last time. Yung director. Kamagayang lakay. Kamagayang lakay. Yung song bang yan yung ginamit dun sa movie? Yes, uh, this song was been used as, ano yung original soundtrack for the movie Babaylan by direct Pete Mariano, our friend, no? So that is our topic for tonight. It's about Babaylan. How are you, Jamie? I'm doing good. Yeah. Yeah, it's rainy right now, so the it's gray outside. So I'm happy to be inside and in class. <laughs> yes. Diba? So actually, uh, we are still waiting for other people to come, no? such as Jen Maramba and uh, JL Lumipig. Though this is uh, this night is a confirmation night for uh, JL uh, for her graduation together with Lorenzo. But tomorrow I'm gonna talk to Lorenzo para makita natin we could find a schedule for them. Supposedly, this is the night of the new moon already. So how's the weather over there? In um, rainy? here it's raining. Mm, no, no more cold. It's not too cold. It's like medium. Um, so if it's warm, it's like in the 70s, and then if it's colder, it's like in the 50s, Fahrenheit. Uh, uh, Farren, uh, at least you you confirm that it's in the Fahrenheit, not on the year or age, 70s or 50s. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry na man, merong, uh, we, we get used to this, uh, uh, with, with this technology that we have right now, no, uh, parang, Wala lang, parang maging, para mas maging magana ang discussion and everything. Although, um, tonight we are calling uh, uh, the, the Babaylan topic, no? And I know that you have an idea and on Instagram, um, there is, uh, I think, is it, is it you ba? Uh, uh, that make that post or uh, sinto si Jules that made the post about the Tawas thing, no? But we we haven't performed that. No, we haven't. Uh, no, we performed, but we haven't demonstrated it to you on how to use the the tawas, diba? Like, do you know how to use the tawas, the the rat tawas? 
in doing the tawas, literal tawas. Can you share it to Jamie? Because the traditional, ano, no way, it's like a uh, suob, but uh, you will use the frankincense, mirror, and then the tawas, the, ano, the alum. So it's like you're doing suob from the feet to, ano, to head. And then some of the ingredients is you need to uh, get some piece of hair and then some piece of nail and then the some ano and ba to sinulid ang tawag dito A string some string A string in, from the fiber of your clothes uh in your clothes yon and then they will do the ano the actions of suob then if you're done so you will put some tati so that you can ano parang to stop the ano the charcoal and then yung para hindi na the ember of the the charcoal uh, uh, ember ano ember ayun and the fire in the charcoal so you will put some ano some a uh, small amount of tea and then after that you can look for the ano for the char uh, charcoal look for some specific images so they will form or sometimes they mold like some specific image for example three gnomes person so it's like a candle wax so may ano some melted uh, charcoal or some melted of frankincense will form into some specific and clear images so that's the ano, that traditional way of using the ano alum or the, the tawas crystal rock, rock tawas mm-hmm. no pero i have also an experience when i was a child no i remember na we, when we're still living in kramelakay uh yeah. nanay used to call for a magtatawas and they use the the alum nga the alum crystal no and uh, what i remember is the alum is being melted on an old pan frying pan so they heat the pan and they put the the rock on the on the pan and it melt so as it melt it will create a smoke no so the patient will stand before that and as i remember na i all every time that after tawas there is like a sugat a wound a dry wound here on my forehead pero that's that's my personal memory but i haven't encountered that on 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 uh, uh, uh on doing that uh on real person pa because what i use already is the paper and melted candle and the egg no pero on, on my memory i think the wood will create some images eh. As, different from from lakai remember the suob the dry suob that i use the coconut shell and the charcoal and i melt the uh what do you call that the incense and it uh it creates fume so after that lakai will pour down some tea so that the images like the wax uh you you will read and determine pero yung the tawas method that i've been used you can also use an old can of milk you you just introduce it to the fire and there you melt the 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 tawas but the fume of the tawas itself or even the incense or or the mirror no the rock yung the, the crystal rock uh will uh will put some uh, uh it will form some images on on your forehead and i remember there is also an oration in using a simple pa- paper and there is no i'm i'm, I'm holding now the ano uh, i think that's the bokolum balalan am the uh wait i have to be sure about the ayon bokolum balalan biam am di dik dio dio jesus so the the magtatawas usually will whisper that i type mo ako uh oh Later, siguro, ita-type ko para malaman ni... Uh, so, that, ano, 
So, the magtatawas will get the paper, no? A piece, even a small piece of paper, even short, uh, small piece, then the magtatawas will whisper the prayer, Bukulum, Balalam, Biam, Amdidik, Dio Dio Jesus. Then upon praying that, it the, the paper will put on the forehead. So as it put, it will absorb all the oil, the sweat, and everything of the child. Then you will read the images uh, uh, that been stuck on the paper. So that's how, no? Uh, I just tell the some the scientific whatever because when you when you put the paper on the on the skin diba it will absorb the 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 sweat or even the oil so from that sweat and oil uh, an image will form so it means uh, it, it uses only some uh, what do you call that investigative procedure or of determining shapes and images so from that we could interpret it any reaction? <laughs> I just think it's really, I enjoy learning about this and how flexible Hilo is because you can really use whatever materials, like if you're, mm. if you're tuned in and you're trained, you can use whatever materials are available to you. Mm. So I think to me, that's like very, that's very Filipino. Yeah. Like we, we can use anything to make it work. Actually, that, that's I uh, know that's the that's the thing that we as Mangihilot becomes a babaylan, no. Although uh, the reason why I want to topic this uh, babaylan thing, I think I remember also you have questioned, uh, you asked me a question about what is the difference of hilot to a Mangihilot. Do you remember that? I think it was you or Jules. No, so it was, uh, it was Jews was asking about the the language. Oh uh, yeah, about the language. No, and I remember also because on 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 Facebook there was a Facebook group called Anito. Um, there was a topic that been raised, and it was a comment from another social media, TikTok. Na parang there is a, a certain person talks about. Uh, Babaylan as an umbrella term. An umbrella term for the magtatawas, manghihilot, albularyo, uh, tawag dito, um, espiritista, or mag-aanito, and so on and so forth. No? Uh, actually, uh, as, we di uh, as we have talked about the, the, the nature of Babaylan, no? we know that at the beginning of time, on the generations of healer, we talk about the, our first healer is the Diwata, no, the divinity that creates us or the creator. And, and the first elder is the first creation, which is our ancestor. Probably on the Tagalog pantheon, it was the mag Malakas and Maganda, or on the Christians, they are the, ano, ano pa Adam and Eve. Oh, Adam, Adam and Eve, no, oh, on the Christian tradition. No, although we have forgotten that before Adam and Eve, we still have an elder, an elder be, be, beside from Adam and, De Adam and Eve, which is the first creation. Although Adam and Eve are the only human, first being human or human being that been created. But before them, there were first creation. So as a babaylan, as a role of the babaylan, now we can consider one of our ancestor and elder or the, the, the light, which is the sun, the moon, the star. Then we also considered as a fellow creature or an elder, yung earth, yung trees, yung animals, yung seas, and all the creation that been created before us. All now, the uh, ano, elements. Yeah, and, and the elements, no? And the elements. <clears throat> so they are still part of, of being a, a, a creation, no? A, crea a creation elder that is ahead of us. And then now, in, on, in, on human being, the one that becomes a babaylan are the elder 
or the one that will directly pass down the knowledge from the diwata and those of nature. So, if you are a babaylan, uh, the, the elder now been called as a babaylan, no? Probably the babaylan uh, start or culturally it start in the Visayas region, no? But in the Katagalugan, in the Tagalog region, uh, the babaylan were called as mum, uh, kabunyi, uh, no? Catalonan. And in the northern provinces of Luzon, near Taiwan or the Ifugao, uh, on the Ifugao, they called them as Amumbaki. But whatever uh, regional title that they belong, they serve as an elder. An elder that communicates to nature and passing down the, the knowledge of healing to the people. And, and, and that passing of knowledge is through the work of their healing. Diba? We remember that some babaylan, uh, because nowadays, no, parang uh, most sought yung title of babaylan. Would you agree with that, ba, Lakai or Jamie? Or how, how do you think that the impact of the title babaylan is affecting the Philippine community right now? Um, you mean like how, how are we using it? Yes. I don't feel comfortable using the bylon for myself um, because I didn't go through those processes and I don't serve that that specific type of role in my community. Like even though I do healing practices, it's like to me it's like adjacent to that. It's like it's like that, but it's not exactly a bylon. And it's the con the context is just really different. So I don't I don't feel comfortable using it for myself. And um I know that other people are like claiming that word and and using that word a little more casually. So maybe they have a different relationship to it. But for me, like really Babailan, um it requires like a very culturally specific initiation. It, it that role existed in a specific type of community. Um, and I live in, you know, I live in diaspora, like I live in the US. I wasn't, I wasn't raised that way. Like I can't even speak Tagalog fluently. So whatever I role that I play or whatever things that I practice, it's can be similar, but it's not exactly that. Like I don't, I don't want to claim it for myself. Thank you for that. No, actually it was true also for us. Lakai, do you yeah. want to say something? Honestly, the ano the babaylan term it's hard for us to get that title because it has a big uh, role and big responsibilities because based on the traditional ano uh, practices each uh, tribe has only a uh, one uh, babaylan and then that uh, that babaylan has many apprentices so like that so if the Babaylan is already passing uh, pass away. So that's the right time to have a new one, Babaylan. So it's like that. So based on the research then, the Babaylan, it's more on visible to the, ano, to the community. And then what we also share the, ano, the, the characteristic or the aspect of the Babaylan is you need to have or to get the five aspects, the warrior, the healer, the mystic, the teacher, and then the leader. So if that five aspect is not completed, so it means you cannot call or you cannot use the title Babaylan. And then in our, ano naman, in our modern days, I guess let the community or let the government give the that title to us so we can ano, accept it naman Apo. kasi ano no what i notice even me i i feel uncomfortable calling people calling me as babaylan no uh we that's why we have uh formulated or invented the term binabaylan actually the word binabaylan is is not my creation it's not our creation at all no but it was uh, the creation of 
of our former actually he, he already passed away no so i call probably we could consider him as a modern babaylan his name is paul cabalfin or bae ulang undi no he is the one that uh, created the binabaylan tradition or uh, binabaylang bisaya tradition where he put emphasis that the babaylan are very sacred and very powerful title that most of us who lives in this modern generation are unworthy to be called with no and he he said some policies or characteristic of the babaylan or the binabaylan no because like what we have defined in in Hilot Academy of Binabaylan that we have defined the word binabaylan as the one an individual who follows the path of the babaylan no so we are walking on on their part learning the ways of the babaylan and doing the practices of the babaylan in this modern world no though we are not babaylan but we are binabaylan it means we are connecting the past practices to the present generation no so we become a doorway because the word binabaylan is the one that walk in be- in between worlds no in our binabaylang tala uh, uh, course i don't i think i i also mentioned that in our hilot academy no in hilot binabaylan course that the babaylan walks in the in 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 nine worlds no we have enumerated that aside from the kaitaasan kailaliman at kaibabawan uh, we have discussed that the babaylan also walk on the uh, on the on the four kingdoms the kingdom of earth air fire and water and that also the uh, oh that is also on the realms of the north east south west and aside from that uh, uh, the babaylan is the mediator to the ancestors and to the great supreme spirits Although in our discussion no, and in our practice or even on, med- on our meditation, on our devotion, we have been, I know, we have been, talk dito, uh, been revealed or been, uh, yeah, revealed or something. Parang we, we got an insight that uh, the, the, the word, uh, the, the Babaylan aspect or the world of the Babaylan, merong special world din sila, merong special position. Actually, there was a special mountain uh, that been set for the Babaylan, no? Though this, welcome, Jen. No, uh, so do, so this role of Babaylan of 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 traveling along the world, no? Probably we here now, uh, as a student of Hilot Binabaylan, we are also walking in between the world. For uh, for as such, in this part of the world, it is already evening. Pero on your part of the world, the bag, it's morning time. Mm. I there, uh, it's uh, no worries. We just started to anajan, no. Uh, uh, the discussion just started. Pero yun nga, no, the role of the babaylan is ano. Uh, I do you? I think uh, Jennifer also was there in the group Anituhan. No, so we the, the reason why we we talk about this is to answer those questions so that we could have a clear, uh, clear view of what our uh, where we are heading to in this journey in walking to the path of the Babaylan as Hilot Binabaylan. No, and amazingly, uh, just to to uh, to to answer that question of. Is Babaylan an umbrella term for the Mangihilot, Albolario, Magtatawas, and so on and so forth? Actually, how can I say that? It's not an umbrella term. All those, uh, all those qualifications or skill level, uh, a Babaylan, a babaylan can uh, uh, ato, uh, a babaylan could have no uh, i think yeah welcome J- jl good morning jl Hello. Yeah. i'm so sorry i'm in the woods and i forgot but it's here 
<laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. So we are talking about the babaylan. You know, so see, the babaylan is in the woods. <laughs> No, we are talking about the the about the initiation of the babaylan and the term babaylan, no. Uh and and uh, and, and the, the topic is if the babaylan is an umbrella term. Like what I've said, the babaylan could possess all those skills of being manghihilot, albularyo, uh mag-aanito, etc., etc., no? Uh all those skills. But not every manghihilot can be a babaylan. Not every magtatawas or mag-aanito can be a babaylan and so on and so forth. No? So it means uh, there is a difference because right now, for example, in the terms of manghihilot, not all manghihilot that who knows to do ano, the pindot, hagod, pisil, uh, haplos, piga, or the massage therapy is a manghihilot. Sometimes they can be only a massage therapist. And during the Spanish period, according to he William Henry Scott, the practice of massage before is not called hilot. No, it's not called hilot. The, the practice of massage during the pre-colonial times is called mamarokpok. The mamarokpok is the one that, like that, tapping and tapotment and rubbing, no? especially on the back but the hilo no according to what you call that according to William Henry Scott no he described the hilo as the one that rubs the stomach or fixing the womb of the female and even do abortion so so it has an, the the term hilo has a bad reputation or a bad image of uh, if, if we are living right now, no. If we are living right now, it has a bad image of of dito, of abortion. Pero during those times, no, the 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 law on abortion varies on on the social status that you have. Dahil kasi if you are in the the class of maharlika or mga kadatuan, no. Or, or the higher ranking status no if 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 a, a person knows that uh, you are bearing a non royalty child so abortion was legal for them and sometimes uh, they if 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 they sense that there is some abnormalities within the growth of the child they will abort it already because they don't want to have uh, an ugly child, no? That's why some of the Visayan, they are beautiful and handsome. They are almost perfect because they they aborted those uh, un unwanted child, no? Uh, so it was because it was in the old tradition, no? And 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 right now we we know we we advance. We have this uh, moral moral tagdito moral guidance or or law that been followed or social norms that we follow in the modern world though those are the practices no although we are not talking <laughs> uh, i'm just being specific on what i conducted research no pero okay on the term babaylan no i found it very mystical do you think when do you think that the babaylan emerged what period of time or era do the babaylan uh, emerge the um, from 1521 it's already been 500 years of colonization and christianity in the philippines diba? and on 1300 muslim or islam came to the philippines pero the pre-colonial time april 21 900 AD, the Laguna Copper Plate inscription is a dated document that proves that during that 900 AD, we are already civilized. We have the Laguna Copper Plate inscription, we have our form of writing, we have a government system, lending and usury system, and, and we can find that on that document, it mentioned the, the word Jotish. 
Do you know the word Jyotish? Jyotish is an Indian or Vedic astrologer. So, so it means on their legal documents, there was a presence of a Jyotish or an Indian astrologer pertaining on the 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 date of 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 transaction or whatever. If it is uh, ano tag don. If it is good to transact business, it's good to pay debt, or it's good to to do buy land or something like that, no? It was 900 AD, no? Now, there is a question that came to me. How do the Babay land came into existence? And we are very so much aware of this, of the, the word Babay land, even the Catalonan and the Mumbaki, no? Because if 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 we could claim that Babaylan that worship the Diwata that works with the Diwata, diba? Do you uh, do you agree that the Babaylan works with the Diwata, Anito, or the spirit of the ancestors and the Encanto and the elementals? If if this concept is from the Hindu Buddhist tradition that arrived here through the Sri Vijaya and Majapahit Empire, why is it not? If, if the Babaylan is called a priest of the old tradition, why it's not called as Pujari? If, if, if our tradition is Indian, or if, it, if we are Buddhist, why we are not called as Bhikkhu? No? Because the priest of Islam, we know that the priest of Islam are called Imam, no? and the Catholic priest is friar or father or priest itself no so there is a mystery on on the terminology and probably this babaylan thing or terminology is not just uh uh, uh, uh emerge during the pre-colonial or uh pre-colonial or during the maharlikan time period it might date back beyond prehistory no such as uh, the the essence of of Taudito of uh, what do you call that the kalatagan path no i think or aside from the kalatagan path no uh, the one that is further uh, during the 4500 bc there is called the Angono Binangonan Petroglyphs. I think you, you have read that in, in your module, no? And who do you think that tried those petroglyphs, that symbols on the curve on the curving on the wall? In your own mind, uh, who want to answer? Lakai? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> lang. Smiling, smiling, huh? Oh, sige. Let's see. Who do you think that write those curving on the wall? Uh, Jamie. Si Jamie ba? <laughs> um. <laughs> excuse me. Um, like who wrote like all of the pre like the pre colonial pre historic writings? Uh, no, on the on the um, I'm uh, there is a specific uh, a specific place like the Angono Benangonan petroglyph, the one that been found on the cave wall. Oh, um, I don't know. I mean, my guess would be like whoever is the priest or like community leader who's keeping all of the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you agree, Jen, Jen Maramba or JL? Yeah, I I also, you know, when I whenever I think about like petroglyphs, also, um, I think about like first peoples, just any first peoples, um, here on Lenape land, um, they. They brought us to um, the Split Rock. One of my brothers and teachers like brought me 
two clouds. He brought me to the split rock where he talked to me about the first peoples and how, um, you know, they were star beings. So he talked about how like that, um, you know, just kind of like the idea of like us coming from someplace other than this planet or like from earth, from the universe. Um, and that they entered through this portal that is this like actual physical split rock. And there they made the markings of their beginning. Um, and so when I think about petroglyphs, I always think about that story and standing there with them as they were telling us about that um, and how maybe even that it could be for, for lack of a better word, but extraterrestrial writing, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, um, as much as spiritual writing. So that's what, that's what I would add. Okay, thank you for that. No? Lakai, do you have something to tell? For me, I guess the one who has the ability to perform magic. Because if you are attuned with the spirit, so the spirit has the ability to uh, dictate you on how to do something. So I guess na the petro, uh, petro lips is a form of magic. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is there anything else, Lakai? Okay. Okay. I want to make to say a joke, no. Because you all, you just directly tell that those who have the ability to do magic. So why magic? It can be only if the person has ability to write. Diba peding ganon? Diba? Pero honestly, it can be right because during those time, those period, there are no formal education. No? They learn from, from their experience. And those who write the wall on that wall are the one who knows how to write. Mm -hmm. There is, uh, it, can be con uh, it can be said that uh, those who know, it means knowledgeable. And when we, when we say about magic, it's about more on, uh, on knowledge, on wisdom. Like the, the, the word knowledge can be, or magic can be uh, equated to the word magus or the wise man. So as those who are the sorcerer on other words, the old English word yung sorcerer, no, mm. it can be uh, those who are science or, or, or knowledgeable which as the 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 word uh, the word uh, sorcerer has the root word of sire so as the word science to know to sire yung sire diba parang merong knowledge and everything so this 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 petroglyphs no uh, it might be the one that uh, those who write prayer because according to to the text no to to wikipedia and through through some studies, scholarly studies about the Angono petroglyphs, it was like a written prayer on the wall for healing. And at the same time, uh, it describes that those, uh, those uh, carvings of animals and... Uh, there is a little bit of audio feedback. Okay, mute mo nga siya. Mute mo painaan mo muna sa iyo. No more ano, no more no more feedback. No more na. Talking. Keep talking so I can hear. Okay, okay. So no more no more feedback na no. Pero what uh on 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 that side that the, those who who write are knowledgeable. They can be a magician or they can be a sorcerer. But uh, but the thing here is there is no exact terminology for those person who do right, the one that do the bye bye. No, so probably the, the bye bye land can be the one that write prayer and the one that gives uh, healing to the person or to 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 manifest their desire because it was on the writing. Eh? 
you know that the word babaylan the and the baybayin of of our ano that's why um it can be like that no and then at the same time um because the religious structure no of having a leader is probably of modern origin eh? of modern historical origin na such as when when uh, i think i forgot those the greek mythology what kind of book was that no actually uh, people uh, on that greek mythology i forgot that on that at the beginning of time parang they elect people to be their priest in order to mediate the people uh, to the divinity but before having a priest each person has the ability to call upon the god eh, in our in our culture in our tradition in in the philippines no uh, we don't have any evidence that there are uh, worship temple or monument that people could go in terms of worship no unless that the dambana the shrine there is parang portable portable uh, portable dambana and shrine and then and most likely they consider the river the mountain the forest as the shrine or temple of the creator where people could worship and you can see that they go to the cave and the cave is a sacred to them that's why they put their prayers on that no so the babaylan here are the one that has uh ano dito yung compassion so one of the character another characteristic of the ano are the one that move uh, the, that a moving hard for the heart for the people where they could uh, help them plead to write the prayers of the people to the divinity no and do we have a, a specific line of tradition such as what we called as lineages no kasi most likely for example if you are a reiki practitioner diba parang merong degree of initiation or attunement and you should be uh, on a lineage no that will trace back to the founder no dr usui na parang parang ganon uh, ang lineages and most likely on the on the modern tradition or, or or no yeah on the modern tradition there is an issue of hey which lineage do you belong do you belong to a tribe do you belong to 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 a certain race of people so who is your ancestor is your mother or father or grandmother grandfather um, uh, a healer a uh, uh, you have a babaylan blood so probably that is the strict ano strict uh, tag dito ordinance i think or policy or non written ordinance na if you want to become a babaylan you should have a lineage of a babaylan and you should be initiated by a babaylan so on our part in luntiang agama no we believe that each one of you has a divine lineage because of your ancestors no one proof of that is when you ask your uncle and auntie lolo and lola on how to treat certain illness illness without any prescribed drugs do you remember that they have something to say about that for example okay jl is uh, no jl is pregnant right now diba if there is no pres so on on her part it's very tawag dito, sensitive to take any medicated or prescribed drugs diba so if 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 jl is having a cough problem what would the best cure for her without any prescription drugs anyone oh of course kasi si jamie is chinese medicine diba pero Raise a hand. Jen, do you have any idea? Jennifer, go ahead. Um, I would apply warmth and, and um, food medicine that is safe for her. 
So just, you know, broths and massage and, you know, um, encourage her to rest. That's what I would do. See, diba? That's natural. Instinctive. And probably passed to her by her ancestor. What about you, ano? Uh... Uh, tag dito. <laughs> Guapo, si Jamie. <laughs> um, it's hard to separate it because of my other training too, but I mean, my my dad always, like every time anyone gets sick, he always tells them to take a shower. And sometimes that's really appropriate. Sometimes it's not actually helpful. But I think, I suspect that like, my family probably has like a um, limpia or uh, like a medicinal bathing tradition that has, it's just like, it's like there a little bit. We still have the habit, but we don't necessarily understand everything about the the medicinal bathing, but there, my dad is still just like, Oh, you're sick. Take a shower. Oh, your stomach hurts. Take a shower. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. The, the vinegar bath, no, actually, uh, that is called banyos here, no? Banyos. Pero banyos is, uh, it, it literally means bat, no? It, bat. Pero, uh, anong tawag dito? It's a Spanish, or parang Spanish term. Even the word, ano eh, even the word albolario, no? Uh, even the word albolario is a Spanish terminology na parang, actually, when, according to Henry William Scott, again, no, parang when 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 the chronicler saw that the healer or the friar saw there are native healers here that uses herbs in healing, they call that uh oh uh, ay caldo <laughs> mm, yummy. No, we're on a diet, no. Nako, just ko pagkain na naman. Pero sabi nga nung ano ng mga Spanish friar, oh they are herbolario. So that's how it started. So the, the term herbolario is a term that's been used and defined by the Spanish. But the term for that is uh, the people, the native, the locals called their healer as ano, uh, the one that uses herbs no, are mananambal or tambal, which is medicine no, or medicine man. No? And, and that's, that's how also how it came up to be na each one of us has this common knowledge that comes from our ancestor or either instinctive no that comes to us probably on on the limpia thing of of of, of when getting sick or you take a bath actually if i got fever i i go a warm bath also no and there is also and one of my professor in alternative medicine encourages to do steam bath no uh Actually, it was Hippocrates, the mad, no, mother to Loy. Yes, more Filipino Vicks. <laughs> Vicks vapor rub, no? So parang, uh, Hippocrates have said, uh, in, 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 when, when it comes to steaming, he said na ano, no? Uh, uh, gi give me to create an artificial fever and I can cure all disease. Parang yun ang sinabi niya. So those artificial fever is to make your body warm. So that's why uh, our Lola will put some medias, socks, and use uh, a warm blanket to make us sweat. No, so that's that's how healing comes from. No, pero on the on the sign of the Babylon, on uh, on the sign of the Babylon. Aside from that, no, uh, going back. We still have 15 minutes more. <laughs> uh, and going back to, to the Babaylan thing, no? Parang the role of the Babaylan in our community, no? Parang it's become a status. A status parang it, it, it is much high sought before. Such as the one of on, 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 on England, English tradition, such as Merlin, no? Parang he is, assist, he is assisting King Arthur, or even on the biblical times, na si Prophet Samuel, that anoints uh, the first king of Israel, Saul, and David, and Solomon, no? Parang, 
uh, each king has their own prophet. Uh, and that's also the role of Ababailan. That's also a role of Babailan. Pero in 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 our modern times, no, it's it's in modern times parang the modern Babailan that lives in 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 the rural area are most forgotten, no? Like Apong Lagitan and what's the name of his friend that recently died? Uh, si he was in my prayer eh. he was in my prayer pero he nominate that to become to have the award given by the government no parang no one wants to become a babaylan anymore or do the duties of the babaylan especially those of the traditionalist no or yung by lineage because they are ano eh, they, are, they they've been forgotten eh. no uh, they're not earning money pero on on money out of that because of the belief that because of the belief that uh, the gift you have is uh, tag dito is given by God so it must be free and the babaylan don't accept uh, what you what you call that a payment from the services that they provide although it was it was not that correct no it was not that correct probably it was been imposed to uh, by by the people na oh you should not receive any amount of money because you are spiritual no pero in history there was a written document that the role of the catalonan people hire the catalonan when they are going to start a business when there is funeral when there is marriage when there is in every life celebration they will hire no they will hire the the service of a catalonan no to bless the activity no and it is said that on that uh, uh, on that activity there are offerings of food gold and the best part no uh, uh, everything no there are many offerings uh, uh, to the deities or the divinities and it is said also that the best part are given to the Catalonan. So as a form of payment. So historically, uh, the the what the one that is circulating to, to to our to our society right now is a false news or fake news. No, because in the ancient time, Catalonan are receiving, no? Catalonan Mumbaki and the Babaylan are receiving uh, the payment no, to the price that uh, according to the work that they've done. But in the modern world, no, in the modern world, our role as Binabaylan or the real Babaylan are having hard time living their life. No? So it's, it's almost endangered. If we could not help them or bring back the glory of the Babaylan, I think the the cultural bearer or the tradition bearer, the wisdom bearer of, of the past is will be gone. Go ahead, Jamie. So were the did the Babylon receive exchange only for ceremony, like public ceremony, or were they also receiving exchange for like one on one healing work? Yes, there is an offering kasi on what Every time that the people offer, the Babaylan will receive the best part of the offering, either public ceremony or or private ceremony. Uh, and then this existed like outside of capitalism. So it's like whatever, I think I'm understanding that it's whatever the abundance is that they're able to offer, that the people are able to offer the, with the exchanges. So like, is it? It's beyond money. It's oh yeah, money, because right? yeah, it's beyond money. Now, for example, a, a family, uh, okay, like the Batak Dungan, no, like the Batak Dungan. In Batak Dungan, you will prepare fish and all kind of seafood. You will prepare pork, chicken, vegetable, fruits, sweets. 
wine, etc., etc. No, so in a in a, in a table there will be feasting. It's an offering for the spirits. No, uh, there will be a lot of food. No, so there will be many food. There will be many, etc., etc. Even the rice or the rice wine. So it will be given to the spirit. While after making an offering, so those will be eaten by the people, and also the best part of it will come, will uh, will be uh, taken by the babaylan as a form of payment, no, as a form of payment. But sometimes in the old tradition, aside from that, they will offer on the altar, or, or there will be jewelries also, there will be. <laughs> Uh, swords or or whatever no armor or or, or or items and that best part will be received by the babaylan or the catalonan or the uh, mumbaki mumbaki part although what 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 i witnessed only no parang parang fair uh, a form of camaraderie is the, the the work of the mumbaki on in doing kanyao kasi talagang community siya the whole community uh, received the blessing. And even also on Adana, diba? Uh, the Babaylan of... Uh, we we have watched that ritual in Bukidnon yata yun lakay. Because he called on the, upon the name of Magbabaya eh. So the whole community uh, parang celebrates and, and received the ritual. Although the ritual is just for a specific person, but the whole community... It's it's like a feasting, so that's the form of of payment that they receive, no? Uh, they receive, and probably I don't know if there is monetary involved in the modern times, but yun nga, we we have to encourage the uh, parang to bring back their 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 importance in the society, such as uh, 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 what their work will be remembered in the future. And what if, if they die, who will continue their work? Who will remember that? So, uh, it is important that we pass this knowledge, no? And uh, they will be encouraged to, to, do, to do these things more so that they will earn while they live. And as they, they live, they will pass it to the future generation so that it will not be broken. And I think that's, that's, that's the plan of uh, uh of dr usui no uh, he teach that in order for people to help because Usu, dr usui have experience when he did when he he did the healing for free people ano parang does not value the healing or oh, they receive healing they will just rely on dr usui to heal them more no so that's 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 the reason why they teach uh, doc, doc, dr usui teach them and ask for payment or exchange of energy uh, for uh, uh, for the service that they have done. No? Is there any questions? Can you elaborate more on the shift of like why is there a mythology that that we don't get paid that we shouldn't get paid? Like, like what happened if there was this tradition of, of reciprocity and then all of a sudden it's Lying. gone? I don't know. Yung ano, uh, when do, kailan nagsimula yung dapat hindi ka nagpapabayad? It's on my ano, uh, experiences. Ano to eh, parang the one who practices LNK or connected to the Catholicism because some of the albulario or the healer, they are into the Catholic member like that. So I guess more on parang they control the, ano, the uh, exchange of energy like that. Diba po? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Uh, uh, kasi nga, uh, on, on, ano, on, 
on those who practice oration or lihim na karunungan or the Christian mystics, no, uh, they they don't call that as payment or exchange of energy. They they call it as alms or limos. And yes, probably because the church are jealous are jealous mm-hmm. on their ability and if people will go to the work of the albolario or the lihim ng karanungan if they are paying probably the church will lose their income Jen? I was just Wait. gonna say that um, uh, I believe it's because we went from what we probably know as a gift economy where we would as you said, exchange, right? It's like a, just a, a respect to exchange. When somebody does something for you, you offer them um, what you can as that exchange. Just uh, um, uh, an unspoken rule of that kind of um, reciprocity. And then um, through capitalism and, and when uh, money money came, um, I, I, and I believe it's not only through um, the Spanish, but definitely um, was heightened through that um, divide and uh, those acts of colonialism that create divide and, and um, in which, uh, you know, this place of um, not being able to offer exchange changed because the economy changed. And so it required you to have money to buy things. And if money wasn't a part of our um, way of life back then, um, perhaps there wasn't any formal way of um, introducing that. And I, I would have to say that my grandmother, whom I've never met, she died way before I was born, uh, was subjected to, she was a Mangangkilut, and she also had 12 children. So, and she got very sick because she um, was performing and uh, all of these tasks and community deeds without proper exchange. And that's how, for me personally, I've come into peace with receiving an energetic exchange is what I call it. But returning back to gift economy, which is um, honoring my energy um, so that I can support you or support the person that I am um, supporting. Um, and that it's a, it's an honorable exchange in that, um, yes, I have a rate, but then I also have a policy that states that I do not um, uh, turn anybody down if they don't have financial capacity, if they have another offering. So some people offer me drawings or poetry, or they'll record like storytelling for my children. And those are things that I, I embrace. And, um, yeah, that's my comment. Okay, thank you, thank you, John, for that. No, so it's it's a nice term, na exchange economy. Although, yeah, in order for us to keep moving, there should be some an exchange. No, it's not only giving and receiving, but it's it's not only just yeah, giving, giving. You should be uh, also to receive in order to continue the 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 cycle. No, the cycle of the energy. To keep it moving. No? I hope that answers your question, Jamie. Is there anything else that we could uh, discuss for now? Or question? So, if no more, so I have to thank you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Last, last, na. since Jamie is here, I have to ask uh, uh, because uh, the, you, you, yeah, the, uh, it's hard to say this word because it's about your graduation day already, no? So it means it will be your last day or whatever, but you are still welcome to continue participate our weekly discussion. When will you be available? Because I have to meet you and Lorenzo. I think both of you is uh, going to ano, or we'll wait for Jennifer and Jamie to graduate also. <laughs> no, but... I think we, I'm we need to keep schedule graduating. It. Yeah, Jamie. You, I'm always no. graduating. No, you are master already. No, no, Jamie, I don't want you to graduate. <laughs> I want you to be with us all the time. Like Jamie, we can join now. We can grow this and now. Then we can have a party or, or something. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I can, I can, I mean, I, I plan to still come on Sundays if it's okay. Yeah. Um, but if you want to meet with just me and Lorenzo, um, I don't know. Sundays are always better for me. So, Sundays. And then, because, you know, our time is so different. Um, or, or in the evening time, that's your morning on, on it's, weekdays. It, it's it's a, on weekdays for yeah. me. Yeah. Because okay. uh, Sat- Saturday is the only day. Because, see, I can't because I have um, some other family obligations usually on Saturdays. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, just let me know and then we'll, we'll find out. But the Sunday Sunday mornings usually are free for you guys because I, I make it for you. So, okay, okay. <laughs> Pero hindi, yun nga, para, I, I just want to, to, to uh, at least I, I, I had your mind right now. So next is I'm gonna talk to Lorenzo so that we could meet ordinary days from ma- Monday on my time to any time and mm-hmm. evening for you, okay? Yeah, this is my niece. Look. Say hello. Hello, baby. Hola. Hola, Hola. ¿cómo está? <laughs> Hi, what's so beautiful? Sorry. She's following me. She's following me. <laughs> oh. Ay, no, she's taking my collie stick. No, no, no. Oh, so be careful. So with that, thank you, thank you. And Jamie, I, I have to confirm that questions that you have. Oh, Actually, the new program is—is is it my program or JL's program? Do you have any program, JL? Wala. So yung, our our new program will be the. Uh, no, we we are still preparing the. The manga gamut course, which is the physical, uh, the body manipulation technique, and I'm also prepared. I'm preparing. Actually, uh, I'm on the middle of doing the chakra system in accord according to the uh, Filipino tradition. No, our understanding about the chakra and how to work with the no. At the Binabaylan Tala initiation course, Lakai will answer that, pero hindi pa tapos. So the Binabaylan Tala initiation course will be, I know. So actually, the reason why we have this program or this this topic is we are about to continue. Although I have already the curriculum about that, pero um, on that we might discuss about the Filipino psychology. Uh oh, about the cup. I think. Uh oh, uh oh, no. Para at least we can serve the community well, no. Uh, on the Babaylang Tala Initiatory Course. And at the same time, no, we prepare you. Although this course, no, parang isang part to, the, the non-contact kilot mind and spirit working is part of, of the Binabaylang Tala Initiatory Course. So there will be other forms also that you are going to learn on the Binabaylang Tala. No? Uh, some more on techniques on rituals. No, on birthing and even on parting, on and even on the funeral, you on no, on communicating with the ancestors, and most likely, alam nyo na rin naman yon, on doing kulam, <laughs> gayuma, and etc. etc. No, and the and the also the the pambabarang, etc. di ba parang it will be exciting course, no, pero it will be longer, I think it will be longer. So it will be a whole year round we are going to discuss that. So anyway, if there are no more questions, I have to say goodbye and good morning to everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Pa. So tuloy-tuloy na natin ang kanta.